Anybody there? Open up. That's a very silent bang. Who goes there? Oh, now we've got banging. What's the boss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Hmm. I don't care. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Because Geralt already knows who Siggy Reuben really is. Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. Happen. You happen to be happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Okay then. Well, since we know that Sigur Reuven is a you big guy, I don't really look forward to uh, talking to him naked. But hey, there we go. Use. Luckily, I'm wearing a towel. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. So the name Reuven is something that uh hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, nice hello ladies. He doesn't blush. And Junior cut off his hand and ordered him to shove it up the corpse's arse. Okay. So Reuven is a name that uh, appears in the books as well as the uh, the secretary of a certain man. Namely, one of the more influential Easy characters son is a dead man. I'll have my in the history of the Witcher. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Because the limp is also uh, a hint, since Geralt Ooh. wounded that same man. Because Sigurd Reuven, the man, the big guy, on the left here, why the fuck you let him in here? Is actually I want to talk to him. This Siggy is of Rivia. Dijkstra. Good to see you again. The Redanian spy master. Loop. Who the fuck are you? Um. <laughs> Reuven can introduce me. Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life. And then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. And that was during the Mage's Rebellion. Intruders. Someone just sat inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Oh, you don't hit a lady with her boobies out. I fucking knew it. Anyway, no, you didn't. Away. Just a few. Nice. A mace? Seriously? I want my fancy sword. <laughs> so, a really handy sign for this battle is uh, the Axie sign. I'm gonna try and get one of those guys. There we go. Because he will kill his people with no problem. Okay. Oh, 
I need to be really careful because I don't have any of my food items here. But the extra took care of that with his giant axe, Jesus Christ. Good work, gents. Thank you. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Okay. Don't believe I know your friends. Not gonna introduce me to your friends. Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. <laughs> Francis Bedlam, you know. But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the That's a way Carlo of saying Bess, King of Beggars. And also is Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. Who's entertainment? Okay. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Yeah, let's be half truthful. So he's gonna help me find someone. Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. <laughs> The sarcasm is palpable. You have your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first. Okay, then. So, uh, where will I find Junior? Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. He looks kind of in shape. The extra. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner <laughs> for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. So yeah, we kinda had our reasons for that. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. But that's what we do best. Okay, your colleague's aware of your past. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways. Agree from time to time. 
That doesn't make us partners. True. Do they know who I am. Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Understandable. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Okay then. So, where is he? Hmm, makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Okay, then. Where's his house? Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Okay, and everything else? Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. We'll try. And the arena? Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Also true, probably. So... Let's head on. Thank you for the information, Deekster, but I think there's an angle to all of this, isn't there? See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Deekstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Okay then. So, um, let's ask around a bit more. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Good for you. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. And I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. No, because uh, Philippa used to be his lover, but she conspired with Radovid and, well, got her eyes gouged out by that same Radovid. So, any news of her? Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, there she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. So yeah, that love story didn't pan out really nicely now, did it? So, he might be able to help with Dangline, but I suspect he won't be as talkative about that subject. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Oh, nice. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? 
I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, <laughs> he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Well, that would keep him under, at least. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. Oh, Deeks are the art connoisseur. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Gigolo boyfriend. Problems. Ah, awesome. problems you might be able to help me with. Yes, because you did, might. Why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. You might already what know what you're him. talking about, Dixter. <laughs> You'll pay me on top of that, right? <laughs> Let's try that. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Ooh. So. We could try and dissuade him, but let's ask. Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. True. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Yeah, because you probably want me to uh, solve the mystery of your fault being empty. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. You can try. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Fine. But that's a weird request. Okay. Be so kind as to follow me. Wow, look at that. His leg is uh, really nicely patched up. Because Geralt destroyed that. Oh, don't fall in now. I missed the ladder and go down. Okay. There we go. Correct quest as well. So we can apparently loot the whole place, which I'll do. So then if we use our Witcher senses, we see there's something in here with us. Oh, Bart, not again, Bart. Bart. Who's Bart? Oh God! Bart, Bart. stop that now! Bart, Bart, Bart makes Ziggy look joyful. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Bart, sadness. So yeah, where'd you get the troll? Where'd you get the troll? From oh, Zerikania. Snap. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy but take. Good Ziggy. <laughs> 
So, why'd you bring me here? Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And that's the hole Dandelion made with the explosion. See that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Charfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Um. Okay. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Which Neither are you. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Okay. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh God. So Chorfun is a uh, of Chorfun is a uh, fortune, I presume. So any witnesses? Anyone see what happened? Probably Bart. Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Okay. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? Right of it, I knew it. I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. <laughs> Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Bad shoes. Head okay. Bad mushrooms. What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But, but, troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. But, you see them? But, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom, sleep go, cheerful gone, bad troll. Now, now. Always an interesting Stick conversation with that guy. So, uh, and a boom. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. This like. <laughs> I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> He's a fucking comedian. Okay. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. I had this lummox fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonts and ran like hell. 
Okay, great. So there's something else down there. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you. Calm but down. I, I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Okay. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life here. Thank you. Thanks. You've not to thank me for literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Thank you. So this is where Dandelion got true and uh, Dandelion, we saw his perspective. You got yourself into? Okay, Bart, take it easy. So, and in this wonderful vault and next to this uh, very friendly troll, we're gonna take a break. So thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more if you haven't already. Thank you guys again for watching and for all the support and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye! And Bart is pointing. Goodbye. <laughs>